Hey guys, Alex here. Um, so I, I just wanted to go create a video on this watch here, uh, my Omega Speedmaster. I don't see too many videos of it on YouTube, so I thought, what the hell, uh, just make one. Um, anyways, I've owned this watch for a little under two years. I bought it back in 2020 uh, during the pandemic. Um, you know, a lot of us probably won't forget that year, so. I thought for my birthday I'd treat myself and you know get a, a substantial piece that um, you know I'll own throughout my life and I can pass down to uh, my family. Anyways, the watch here is the Omega Speedmaster Racing uh, Master Coaxial Movement. It's the caliber 9900, and um, it's a little different from the Moon Watch. Um, not a little different, um, very different, uh, but it, it does wear very similar. Um, even though the case diameter is 44.25 millimeters, it is on the bigger end uh, of the watches that I have, um, but it, you know I, I enjoy that wrist presence. And um, I guess the reason I got it, you know, I'm, I'm not much of a Rolex guy, so, you know, I definitely wanted a Speedmaster. I thought that'd be my first luxury piece. And I'm overall incredibly happy with this watch. Um, I originally bought it on the black uh, perforated leather strap with the orange accents on it. And after a few months, I decided I just wanted to get the um, bracelet as well. Uh, so I switch it out occasionally, depending on how I'm feeling or um, just to switch things up. The black leather strap is you know, infinitely more comfortable to wear on. Um, but with the bracelets, uh, definitely a bit more flashy, um, you know, a bit more in the flashy end. Uh, so in terms of the, um, some other specs on the watch, it's water resistant to five bar, um, which is only 50 meters, but I, that doesn't really bother me. Um, yeah, I have a, like a cheap dive watch, a Seiko. You can, um, you know, use that for diving. I wouldn't even snorkel with a luxury watch on. Um, I live in Florida and there's uh, Barracuda in the water. So I would never even wear like uh, something that's too flashy underwater anyways. <laughs> so that does not bother me. Um, but yeah, this is a, it's a beautiful piece and you know, obviously I'm very blessed to own it. Um, and I just really enjoy wearing the watch. Um, what's really cool as well about this Omega Speedmaster is this uh, liquid metal bezel that, that's on the watch. And um, just like the when the light hits at certain points, it, it just looks really cool. And I don't think you get that on the aluminum um, bezel with the regular moon watch. Um, so this one is definitely a, it's a flagship piece. Um, and, um, you know, I think overall worth it. Uh, I'll show some wrist, wrist shots coming up. And um, yeah, I just wanted to create a, a short video on the piece and, um, you know, how two years of ownership, this one has been um, something I probably will never sell and um, just get to enjoy it day in and day out um, with the other pieces of my collection. So yeah, uh, any questions on it, just uh, feel free to reach out and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.